Hi, I'm Chibuzor. Hi, I'm Ito Menek. Hi, I'm Gat Ness. And we are the Master Gat Foundation Scholars. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the most exciting part of my experience as a Master Gat Scholar has been that the foundation has helped create a home away from home for us Africans. It has helped develop this large and thriving community of African students in Cambridge who not only share a common goal and a common purpose in terms of building solutions for Africa, but also share a common background and a common history by which we can come together and get to know ourselves better. So studying the ANFIL in Industrial Systems Manufacturing and Management at the Institute for Manufacturing has been amazing. I have just enjoyed every second of it. Honestly, it's not just about, you know, studying or learning from a textbook, but it's more of putting into practice the theory that we're being taught in class and to get to do it every day. I've just been loving all the visits, the projects we've been doing, the seminars, and interacting with different types of companies, different sized companies in different um, manufacturing industries and getting to understand how they operate the business environment, the manufacturing environments that are around everything, that are around making things work. So after I finish here, I still want to gain that industrial experience and continue putting into practice what I've been learning. If it's uh, back home in Zimbabwe, I would like to maybe explore and the industries too, like the food uh, industry, the cement industry and just other manufacturing industries that we have and just seeing how we can streamline different uh, processes, different ways of making products to make them more efficient, to save on costs and just to improve the overall quality of goods that we're making. Well, the MPhil in Machine Learning and Machine Intelligence, uh, it's a great program and it has really been uh, very insightful. My, my passion for, for studying machine learning has always been to, you know, apply the technologies, the skills from machine learning into solving practical problems in my community and society. And one, one of such examples or one of the visions I have um, is uh, looking back at where I lived before coming to Cambridge, which is Lagos. I mean, it's a city plagued with a lot of traffic. I mean, people spend loads of time uh, on the road before they get to work. They have to wake up by 4 a.m. in the morning just to get to the office by 9. So these are problems that I experienced, you know, I, I suffered a bit. I could apply skills from the program, yeah, apply some computer vision algorithms and use some data analytics to build solutions that can help the city solve the problem of traffic and, and transportation in general. I would say my biggest motivation for pursuing an MPhil in engineering for sustainable development is to help build an Africa where energy meets the criteria of access and sustainability. One of the major things I noticed uh, back in Nigeria was just how much human life was threatened by some of the systems we had deployed uh, to ensure that we had power and electricity. One major example was the case of smoke and fumes from generators, both petrol generators and diesel generators, which caused thousands of deaths annually for both young and old people. I do remember reading several reports of children and even babies dying from being poisoned by smokes from these fumes. What I want to do is create a world or an Africa or in Nigeria, in my case, where such things are not the case, where people will not have to have their lives cut short or grieve the loss of their loved ones simply because of their efforts to ensure that they can attain a basic standard of living with good energy resources. So tell me what your highlights have been so far. Recently, we took a trip to Wales where we got to enjoy some interesting views of the Atlantic Ocean from a beach called Church Dock Hope. Um, we got to get closer together as scholars, get to know ourselves better, enjoy the company of one another, and eat some really great African food. So that was a very lovely 
experience to have 